In this demonstration, we'll show you the IEC 61850 options that are available under the miscellaneous group, uh, which will assist you in basically setting your environment uh, for the IEC 61850 loader. It will also uh, allow for sharing of that environment with uh, other uh, users. The two uh, main categories that uh, are um, supported by the IEC 61850 options is the device configuration and the voltage list right so uh, in order to access it you just go to the miscellaneous group click on the IEC 61850 options and you can see the three categories uh, that would set up your environment device configuration voltage list and the uh, diagram color screen uh, for the device configuration in the device configuration, you can choose how to present data from the SCL uh, files. The definition uh, for each one of these options is available on the online help. Also, you can decide if the IEC 61850 graphic block diagrams will be shown vertical or horizontal by default. This may also be changed interactively in the loader. Okay, um, this is it for the device uh, configuration interface. Um, for the voltage lists, uh, the voltage list allows a user to create and maintain the desired voltage levels when working with ICD or CID uh, files. Uh, so in order to uh, change or add to this list, what you could do is you could export the list. Um, I'm going to export it to my uh, desktop. I'm just going to call it voltage list.txt. Um, and we say the voltage list is exported successfully. We can click OK. Now we can edit our uh, voltage list. Okay, so let's say you're interested in two uh, new voltage levels, uh, 150 kV and uh, 22 kV, right? Uh, what will al this allow you to do is you can save this uh, voltage list for future use and you can uh, share it among uh, other users. Now we can import this voltage list. Now we click OK. And as you can see, um, the voltages uh, that has been set up in the uh, text file are imported and uh, available ready uh, for use with uh, with your uh, loader in order to configure uh, your devices okay so uh, this is a very powerful tool in order to share these um, voltage lists with the rest of your team as we said okay the next uh, setting is the diagram color scheme environment uh, settings. Okay, the diagram color scheme environment setting will allow you to uh, set up the colors for uh, uh, for various uh, voltage uh, levels that are uh, available in uh, your loader um, which basically allows a user to create and maintain colors in these uh, various uh, substations levels the client uh, has by default the same color as the device icon in the sg config okay and then uh, you will be able to uh, set up the uh, voltage areas color scheme, the base level color scheme, and the IEDs uh, level color scheme. 
Um, just to note that in order to, for these color schemes to uh, take effect, uh, you always have to uh, press OK, which means that uh, the changes did take place and exit out of here. You could export these color schemes and you can, um, of course, share it with the rest of your team and you can import uh, these color schemes. So we're going to demonstrate how to change a color. Let's say we want to change the IED color. Um, so I want to change it to aqua and that's uh, the color that I would like to use at some point in the future. I have to press OK and go back into the IEC 61850. I can see that it has taken effect. So now I can export this color scheme. So I'm going to go ahead and export this color scheme. I'm just going to leave it with the default naming. Of course, you can change the naming or you can put it in a separate folder by itself. So I'm just going to click OK. Now my color scheme is saved. If for any reason this color scheme changes, um, uh, like let's say I want to change it momentarily, and uh, I click OK in here. When I open the IEC 61850, now this is my color scheme. When I go to the loader, this is the color scheme that will be used during the loader execution. If I want to reset this color back to the exported color scheme, I can click on import, click on my color scheme that was exported previously and say OK. Uh, click on the OK button here and go back to the IEC 61850 color scheme options. And as you can see, the color scheme has been uh, restored for each and uh, this uh, can be uh, of course applied to every level of uh, your substation okay thank you for watching this demonstration